Uh, one of the first bards I ever heard, ever, <coughs> was uh, Brent McCoy. Oh, yes. Yes. He sang this song at the very first Bardic Madness that I was at, and he was tooting someone else's horn himself. He is his good friend and companion, and Laurel and other things, who wrote the song that she presented earlier today. <coughs> If I can focus on this thing. Down in Grindelwald town lives a jolly good fellow whose figure is really a comical sight. For his forehead is bald and his eyes will amaze you and his gold-colored codpiece is really quite bright. He wears baggy pants and a ragged old tunic. His shoes give his tootsies a room with a view. And he acts very silly and does antler dances and answers when summoned by the name Master Moo. His real name is Yolo, Don Yolo Fitzowen. His white sash and laurel are both well deserved. For he'll build you a crossbow like those in museums or thrash you at swashbuckling without reserve. He's a shaper of wood and of bone and of leather. A shaper of souls with a word to the wise. He, <clears throat> he has carved standing stones to remember the fallen. And he'll sing you a song to bring tears to your eyes of the great Silky's bride and the crew last named Jenny. Rarely is song and Merlin, Merlin's gay, gay flute. And the old standing stones and a host of Welsh heroes Bring once more to life when he picks up his lute. He's a craftsman composer, a fool and a fighter, a good friend to many. He'll come when you call, and he'll dance in the garden and sing in the moonlight like a nightingale piping in green forest hall. 